Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'll be watching the 3.5 announcement trailer. So if you do enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. So it's almost a minute away until it starts. And in this, I'm expecting Deer to, to come out, um, Mika, um, Windbloom, which you can see right here. Um, hoping for a Dainsleeve quest, because that'll be sick. Uh, that'll be awesome. Um, so now we're just kind of waiting. We're waiting for for it to hit 8 p.m. for me because I'm in Australia, so it's had a good time for me. Well, I'm I'm so excited! Like I can't wait to see the trailer. Like see the trailer, it's gonna be so sick. Uh, Albedo's be, will be getting a re one. I'm pretty sure because he's gonna be talking with Ether and and Dia. So it'll be Ether, Dia, and Albedo who'll be talking, which is actually really cool. Which is really cool. Um, I'm just wondering, like, because there could be a monster expansion because of game Mika, so monster expansion is very probable. Put my computer to performance mode. So I can make sure it doesn't lag. Big brain. <laughs> All right. All right, it's eight o'clock. It should be starting. It should be starting. It takes maybe a few seconds, you know, a few seconds. But it's eight o'clock right now. So come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Watch now. All right, let's give it one more. Let's get a refresh. Let's give it. Let's give it a refresh so it actually freaking loads. Start listening to All right, we get an ad with a two month free trial for a We get a 50 second ad. It's fine. 50 seconds. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't know that game should put ads. I didn't get an ad last the time. Dot but it's fine. Doesn't see supply. See website for details. All right, here we go. <gasps> the trailer. Oh, dear creature. Why Just do you time. Bow down? For fear of the unknown. For power that you covet. What the heck is this? I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? It looks Robert, like a Jason quest. What, what, what is that? I can't take it. I think that he might have seen you. Jason! Yes, it is! Are Sorry, it's all loud. I'm granted you the right to enter this place. I'm getting chills right now. Holy crap. The greatest. More in desert? Should never live to remember their fall. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let's get it on. Oh, the music. <laughs> oh, her sword. Yeah. Whoa, Mika! I'll make every effort to navigate us safely and report intel on the enemy. Hey, let's go! Yeah, precision strike! He uses a crossbow, okay. Let's keep going, team. Spear, okay. Wait. Spear? Wait. Hold up. He uses three different things. Wind loop. Oh, can't wait. Yeah. This humble windmill such a great view. Cyber Tanari? It must have been a long time since you last came to Mondstadt. What? Because it is the true great Vayu Viastra. That's it. Think you've ruined Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. All right. Oh, I love the artwork. Okay, so it's like Tainari's voice is still quite similar, which is good. Anyway. Oh, like, oh, oh my god. Day's leaf. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so Windbloom. I didn't know Sino and Tainari were going to be there. Sino and Tainari. Oh, this music. But wow. That is a massive, massive surprise. But yeah, Kali's just hopefully going to be reuniting with um, hopefully going to be reuniting with um Amber, which is going to be epic. Um, Tanari's there, I guess, to bring Kali 
I guess, like, because Tainara and Kali probably went together. Um. Oh my god, I can't wait. Because this is going to be my first Wind Bloom Festival as well, so. It's going to be good. Anyway, yeah, this is the first code. I'll definitely be putting this in straight after, so I don't forget about it. Anyway. It was good, travelers. Welcome to the Genshin hey! Impact version 3.5 special program. I'm Koi Dao, the voice of Albedo, chief alchemist of the Knights of Avonius. And today, as okay. you all can see, I am joined by... Hey, wait, wait, that's that's my intro. That's what oh, I usually Albedo. say. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, hey, everyone. I'm Zach Aguilar, the voice of the male traveler, Ether. What's up, everybody? I'm Amber May, and hey. I voice Dia. And Amber to May. match Albedo's long and official-sounding title, I'm going to introduce her as... <clears throat> Sumeru's legendary Aramite mercenary, the oh, that, that sounds really cool. I like that. Yeah, it does, actually, yeah. I, I really like that title. It does sound cool. <laughs> and it just so happens that today is Amber's first time joining us on the special program. Yeah, it yes, is. And I am super excited to be here. And <gasps> oh, the little cheapy Dia, she's so cute. <laughs> I know. Oh, I can't wait to go over uh, everything that's coming to version 3.5. I'm so psyched. <laughs> Totally, and I know all our travelers out there are also super excited, so why don't we kick things off by starting with our first new playable character for version 3.5? Dia. Dia! Woo! Yeah. Dia! I said Let's exactly go! Time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's taken a oh, while, but flame she is finally here. That's right! And even though she's Been technically a, a new playable a character, we've already seen Dia in the game for a while now, oh, and good, she's yeah. even become a good friend of ours. She was yeah. pretty active throughout the Sumeru storyline and helped us get through some pretty tough moments. So next, we'll yeah. let Amber do the honors and introduce this character for everyone. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Go, yeah, yeah. As you mentioned, a lot of players might already feel familiar with Dia's character. Even though she might appear carefree and casual, she actually possesses amazing skills and is really Enjoys great fame. She's already yep. made a name for herself as one of the yep. strongest members among the Aramites. I and see even that. in the midst I of see danger, that. she has an uncanny ability to make others around her feel safe, you know? Right? Another pirate it, it seems like no well. matter what kind of situation we're in, nice. as soon as Dia appears, I'm probably going to be putting for Dia as well. We're in good hands. Oh, try to. What Dunyarzad feels like having her around? I mean, I wouldn't mind hanging out with Dia all the time. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And now that Dia will be available as a playable character, travelers will have a chance to learn a lot more about her. That's right. So let's watch some clips of Dia. You oh, might yeah, find okay. she's a little bit different from your initial impressions. We what must have to one simple rule. Whoever pays the most is your new boss. That sword looks kind of cool. Let me be honest, it looks quite cool. She punches? Let's get it on! What the I, heck? You I did not see it. that. What the heck? It's like a pyro sino, kind of. Yeah, it's like a pyro sino. Was, oh, was that did, in my eyes? Did, did she have a flip phone? Do they have phones in Sumeru? <laughs> no. No, it's, it's actually her makeup box. Yeah, it's she makeup. uses it to keep her makeup fresh. Flip phone. You know, even when oh, she's good. out on the job. In yeah. fact. She's always looking for a chance to go shopping for accessories with Candace. Interesting. So <laughs> she's got a more, like, I want to say, refined side to her, too? I feel like that's not really a common thing among, like, Merc types, you know? Yeah, the mercenary lifestyle can be pretty rough, but she's not always on the job. Oh. She lets another side of her character show when she's off the clock, you know? Hmm, okay. I see, I see. But I'm sure what everyone wants to know now is what her abilities are like in a fight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did you, did very you see interesting. her punch stuff? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Dia wields a claymore in combat and carries a pyrovision. She uses fiery attacks to leave enemies smoldering in her wake. Literally smoldering. Ooh, fiery. Yeah. Just like her. <laughs> totally. In battle, Dia uses her elemental skill to create a fiery sanctum field. When an oh. opponent within the field takes damage, it'll unleash a coordinated attack, dealing oh, okay. AOE pyro damage to them. Nice. Oh, like moves So, oh. looks like this ability will be really good for swapping characters and creating elemental reactions. 
Also, yeah. active characters within this field have their resistance to interruption increased. And when such characters take damage, oh. a portion of that damage will be mitigated and taken by Dia instead. She's so brave. Oh, you know, okay. I'm kind of worried that Dia could easily find herself in a tough spot. Ah, don't worry too much. There's a limit to the amount of damage that Dia can take for her teammates. Besides, when her own HP is low, <laughs> she can also rely on her own passive talent to recover HP. Awesome. Sounds oh. like Dia's pretty tough. And she has boundaries, which is healthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is kind of a legendary mercenary. I think that comes with her the fighting style is so All cool. Right, let's move on to her burst. When Dia unleashes her elemental burst, she casts her claymore aside and enters the blazing lioness state. That's right. so cool. <laughs> While in oh this gosh. state, Dia will use her fists to unleash quick attacks on her opponents, dealing considerable oh. pyro damage. When the skill's duration ends, she will finish it with a stylish flying kick. Ha! Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice, right? <laughs> so cool. And last but not least, she has an exploration talent. During the day, which is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., the movement speed of party members is increased. Oh! Yeah, that, that makes sense. Interesting. Wise, you know, since she's one of the strongest mercenary from the desert, I guess keeping the pace up even under the scorching sun is just another day on the job for her. Totally. Yeah, okay. Everyone might be familiar with her strong and bold character, <gasps> yes! but her closer friends Story know quest. that after she's had a few rounds, Definitely she's starting to that. get into some more emotional topics. In her story quest, Manticora chapter, the traveler and Dia work to solve some trouble Dia's mercenary group is facing. In oh, the process, okay. we'll learn more about Dia's backstory and uncover Ooh. some things that have been buried in the past. Oh, another familiar face, Dun Yerzad, will also be making an appearance in the hey, quest. So, Jesus. be sure to look forward to that. Oh, heck yeah. So when will Dia be available in the game? Good question. Okay, We've so, signed event wishes well. for version 3.5. Nice. In the early part of the new version, both Dia oh, and Sino will be available with lineup. their own event wishes. That's a good oh, lineup and, uh, there. As a reminder to our travelers out there, Dia will not be an event exclusive character. After the version 3.6 update, which to be clear is the one after this upcoming 3.5 update, okay, she will become available in the standard wish. And oh, as for weapons, interesting. The five star claymore. Beacon of the Reed Sea Ooh. looks cool. Will be available in the version 3.5 weapon loud, event man. wish. Ooh. Sorry about that. I know. Oh, oh, and um, Faruzan's very own hangout quest will also be added in version 3.5. So no way. If travelers really? are interested in getting to know more about one of Sumeru's I was like saying about this to my friend as like a joke. Wait, you no way. Definitely won't want I didn't know Faruzan would get in one. the hangout. Travelers will not only be able to see more about the differences between the academia's various schools of thought, but you'll also get to know more about Faruzan's personality and background. She is such an interesting character. So she is. I'm sure her hangout will be equally entertaining. Be sure to check it out. <laughs> oh, I will. Yeah, that's In version 3.5, travelers can also expect an all-new Archon quest titled Kari Bear, which will continue our story as we search for our sibling. In this quest, travelers will not only meet Kaya and Sumeru, but will also be joined once again by our mysterious friend. Wait, Kaya? 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 Yes. Hold up, what? Oh, uh, it's Sumeru. If I remember <laughs> correctly, that? Kaya is also a descendant of Conria. Yeah. I'm, I'm just curious what'll happen if, you know, those two meet or something. True. Hey, yeah. right. that'll be interesting. <clears throat> I can't wait to do this. Also, uh, what was it? K Kari Bear? K Kari Bear? Isn't that, like, sounds like the name of a sandwich. <laughs> uh, you know, actually, a Kari Bear happens to be the name of a very important role in this storyline. Oh, okay. And a lot of events in the story will be unfolding around this character. Oh my As god! As travelers progress through the story, we'll learn more about Conria in mm -hmm. the Abyss. We'll uncover more about what happened in the past and even oh learn god. some secrets behind the founding of the Abyss Order. Also, travelers will find themselves facing a powerful new Abyss Herald as well as a new Black Serpent Knight. So be Dang. careful, Koi. <sighs> Why does everything got to sound so scary? Why yeah. can't he be the Black Serpent friend? <laughs> I don't know, it just feels like every time Conria crops up in the story, we Sorry learn about this, a little by bit the way. more Sorry about, about the world ad. of Tavad. Sorry about it. Huh. So what else can you tell us, Zach? You know, I can't say much more about the story. 
Yeah. You're just gonna have to play through it yourself, oh, Corey. I will. Well, maybe just you can just, do it. Just, maybe will. you can just, you know, whisper it in my ear. Like oh. a little, my little chibi ear right here. <laughs> you know, I could, but I'm not gonna. Oh. <sighs> okay, fine. <laughs> Looks like we have a lot of story content to look forward to in the new version. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Aren't we forgetting something or someone? Mika! Oh, uh, <laughs> uh nope. You know, I, I didn't forget. Uh, Poor Mika. We have a second playable character landing in version 3.5, and he's actually from Mondstadt. Yes, yeah. Mondstadt. Okay, you guys ready? Because <laughs> we finally made it to Mika. Woohoo! I'm not sure if everyone remembers this young member rising through the ranks of the Knights of Avonius. I do. But I we do. have seen them before. Yeah, I remember he was the one who read the Grandmaster's letter during Vine Lacefest. Aww, yeah. he kind of looks like a little prince. Kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, he does have that kind of vibe. And since he's from Mondstadt, I think we can let Koi introduce this one. It would be my pleasure. <clears throat> Mika is currently the knight's most active cartographer and Whoa. plays an important role in Eula's reconnaissance company. Even though he lacks social skills like Zack and doesn't appear to be particularly <laughs> strong, Mika is meticulous in his work and maintains good a good sucking. working relationship good with his colleagues. There. <laughs> He's also capable of fully understanding his leader's commands, which is pretty useful. Yeah. And his yeah. leader is Eula, right? That is correct. Cool. And the interesting thing is that he's able to understand Eula despite her awkward way of speaking and will even oh. assist her with communicating with other units. Oh, oh that's respect. nice. That's, that's so nice. Over time, Mika has gradually become a very reliable member who could handle a variety of tasks and errands. But why am I telling you when we could just, you know, watch a quick trailer yeah, and show us. see what else we can learn about Mika? I'm yeah, guessing she'll be a four star though. Woohoo! Trailer time. Guessing four star. Let's Verifying see. Verifying our current position. Measuring distance to target area. All right. I've recorded the terrain conditions. Jeez. Like that. <gasps> it like pushes out like that. Like, what the heck? That's so cool. It... Providing cover fire. Damned. <laughs> That's so cool. That's a crossbow. It's so cool. Leave the wounded to me. He's a healer, I'm guessing, then. Wait, is he? Who gave this child a crossbow? <laughs> I know. That's, that's what I want to know. I mean, I mean, I guess since he was deployed as part of Grandmaster Varker's expeditionary force, it, it was him? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, his exceptional performance helped him gain the Grandmaster's trust, and he even taught him a couple of things. This training no doubt helped Mika develop a certain level of combat prowess, even if he himself wasn't aware of it. Ooh. For example, even though swords tend to be the weapon of choice among the Knights of Favonius, Mika uses a spear and a crossbow, which yeah. is a result of his I combat instruction with Grandmaster Varka. What his is the mentorship catalyst? and focus on flexibility <laughs> help Mika find a combat oh, style nice. that is more suited to a little guy like himself. Huh, shakes it up a little bit. Yeah. The Grandmaster seems to think outside of the box, and having a mentor like him will definitely be a big asset for Mika as he continues to grow. For sure, for sure. All right, let's check out Mika putting his variety of skills to use in combat. As a support role for the Knights of Favonius, Support. Mika has learned a variety of methods for assisting his teammates in combat. When he uses his okay. elemental skill, he'll attack the enemy with his crossbow increasing his teammates' attack speed and physical damage. Oh, okay. okay. And when he uses his elemental burst, Mika recovers HP for his teammates and gives them a special status effect. Yeah. Here yeah, that's what it support. Does? What? Support. Tell us. This status causes teammates to regenerate HP whenever their attacks hit an enemy. Ooh, that's Ooh, helpful. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, no, Mika spends a lot of time working in the wild, and he's developed the necessary survival and adventure skills. When Mika is on the team, the location of nearby resources unique to Mondstadt will display on the mini-map, increasing the team's ability to find necessary resources while adventuring. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see he has a lot of support skills. Yeah, it's always good to have a reliable member on the team. So, let's talk about the event wishes <laughs> for the later part of version Oh my 2. god. 5. I want a Yaka. No. Kamisato, Ayaka, and Shunha return with Yaka rerun event well. wishes alongside Mika. So if you'd like to add but yeah, Mika to the four your star. team, yep. then you're definitely oh, gonna want to miss this. Sake. Great. 
We've already covered a lot of content, so let's take a quick break here before we dive into some other version 3.5 reveals. Sounds Ugh. good. It's time Can't. for another redemption code. Everyone ready? And code incoming. Redemption code. <gasps> oh, look at that artwork. So nice. The pyramid in the background. I, I'm still quite puzzled with the trailer with Sana and Tainari. I'm sorry I keep saying that a lot, but that to me is insane. That to me is still insane. They don't have the timer. They had the timer like one or two updates ago. Jeez. Okay, so Ayaka and Shenha. Both Cryro as well. Wait, Mika's Cryro as well. Well, wait, it's a Cryro, Cryro, Cryo. Jesus Christ. And we got Sinus Electric and now who is Pirate. I want to pull for Deck. Look how sick she looks. She looks amazing. But I really want um a ya. I almost said Ayaya. <laughs> Jesus. I also want a Yaka as well, but I think I might go for Dia. Welcome back, everyone. Next, we'll be covering the events coming Claymore. our way in version 3.5. Oh, oh, I love the Claymore. Look see, at it. The main Look event will be the Windbloom Festival. Ah, there's nothing like the soft moss oh. that breeze on your face. New so images. true, so true. The artifacts. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with the festival. With time, it has become an important celebration of freedom and love for the people of Mondstadt. Yeah. During the festival, people give fresh flowers to the ones they love and follow the important tradition of offering their wind bloom to the animal archon. Kale, who's Benji. now been cured of Elazar, will once again yeah. make her way to this nation of freedom during this romantic and colorful festival. Uh, I love it. Aww, I want to go. Cool. Excited to see her. Yeah, well, Why is there a Yaka here because for the traveler? Accompanying her Yaka for the, the trip. Traveler. Is Tainari and Sino. I know. Ooh, interesting. I know. It feels unusual to see them all come to Mondstadt. Yeah. Right? It's like all our friends from Sumeru took a field trip. Kale it's will nice. be playing an important role in this storyline. And upon arriving in Mondstadt, she finds a mysterious prophecy in a book. They must complete the four pieces of the prophecy in order to light the lantern of utmost joy and oh. receive a supreme blessing. Okay, okay. so. I'm assuming this supreme blessing would do something like granting your wish, right? That's right. <laughs> oh. In the course of helping Kali find leads about the prophecy, yeah. travelers will get to know more about Kali's background and see how she's grown to be the person we know and love. Oh, course, nice! We'll also be meeting lots of uh, <clears throat> familiar faces throughout the event, so I'm sure there'll be plenty of smiles as we reunite with some old friends. Right on. Oh, sweet. Sounds like we'll be making some great memories in this one. Oh, by yeah, the way, yeah. did you two notice Tamea standing in the background there? And there's a girl with him. Yeah. Nice catch. How did you notice him? He's got such NPC I know vibes. I know something Brandon Lyne uh, said yes. about it. Yes, Tamea will be playing an important role in this event, oh. other than standing too close to the crafting table. Uh, but as for <laughs> who the girl standing next to him is, is it Yinga? we'll have to play through the story and see. I think it's Yinga. I think that's if how you said it. name. What was the perfume? Like Windbloom, then it looks like it'll be a very interesting romantic story. Am I right? Like okay, I said, it's definitely we'll Yinka. Okay. Oh, in addition to definitely the festival storyline, the Adventurers Guild will also be preparing some fun events for our travelers to participate in and experience the holiday vibes. There will be three available game modes, Floral Pursuit, Ballads of Breeze, and Breezy Snapshots. Yes. Breezy Snapshots. Oh, awesome. is it another camera one? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what is these again? In Floral Pursuit, Travelers will need to continuously collect bloom balloons to increase their score. After collecting a set amount of balloons, the next area will unlock, and once you've collected a specific number of bloom balloons in the final area, a ring of pursuit will appear. Touch the ring to leave the area and complete the challenge. Oh, okay. And in each area, travelers will also encounter airsots balloons that pursue you. If you're caught by an airsots balloon, you will lose one pursuit point and be returned to the start point of that area. Ooh, it's like Pac-Man. Pac so <laughs> we'll probably need to uh, avoid those. Yeah. And the travelers will be able to enjoy full waka, waka, pursuit waka, 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 in single-player mode or tackle challenges along with their friends in oh. co-op mode. Wow, looks like that'll be fun. What's next? Well, let me ask you, Amber. Do you like rhythm games? <gasps> yes. I th I thought I thought you would, cause 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 the next thing is a rhythm game. 
<laughs> it's called Ballads of Breeze. This time, travelers will be able to choose from three different instruments、oh. and use their instruments of choice to play through the song challenges. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Will that、Jesus. actually affect the sound they hear in the game mode? Yep. The instrument they hold and play will be different. I don't know how good I am、ah, at these. Cool. I see. I'm not gonna、mm -hmm. suck. While performing、Bad. a song, different notes will appear on the screen. When a note falls on the decision line, press the decision line to score points. The amount of points scored will vary depending on your timing, and a rank will be awarded according to the amount of points scored. And you'll be able to claim the corresponding rewards. Sweet. Oh, and、uh, as with previous iterations of the game. There will be a function to calibrate the input delay of your device and adjust the decision line, which will improve the overall experience. You know, oh, nice! You're playing on your toaster. Oh, and、uh, for travelers who are interested in getting a little deeper into the game, an editing mode will be available again for players to create their own beat maps,、yes. which can then be shared for other travelers. Oh, it just got. Wait, sounds like <laughs> just fun. Just spam it. Yeah, sounds like a lot of rematches. <laughs> you're on. And finally. We、That's、have、cool. breezy、That's、snapshots,、cool. which will have travelers once again making use of their trusty camera. Travelers will be given photography targets, and will need to travel to the corresponding locations to snap some photos and receive rewards. Click, click, just for my photo album. <laughs>、okay. Beautiful. During the Windbloom Festival event, travelers will have the chance to obtain an exclusive four-star Claymore weapon called Mailed Flower. Looks so nice.、Oh, nice. I like it. Yeah, it really fits、nice. the theme. Right? Yeah, pretty flowers. I love them. I really hope travelers will enjoy all the different games that the event has to offer and join the people of Mondstadt for the festive atmosphere. Definitely. I can already feel the Windbloom's breath. Anyway. Next, we have another event also taking place、oh, okay. in Mondstadt called Spices from the West Northerly Search. That's right. Some of you may remember that there was a Sumeru scholar we helped once when we were in Liyue. Apparently, her research gained the attention of Lord Sangama Bay. You know, What Dory. Now? And now she's、oh. received additional funding. This time, the scholar has come to Mondstadt to find people to assist her research and taste test some special dishes with seasoning. Whoa, oh, okay. If she's got Dory's backing, then she should have all the mora she'll ever need. <laughs> that sounds really nice.、Uh, so, what can we expect this time around? Right. So, the gameplay for this event will be pretty similar to last time. After we start creating the seasoning, we'll need、all、to add、this. the ingredients to the pot in the right order by hitting the button as the needle points to the corresponding ingredient. That's gonna destroy my whole brain. However, <laughs> we have a limited amount of attempts, so we need to add all the required ingredients with as few mistakes as possible. Oh no! More I mean, I seasoning do that, recipes、hopefully. will gradually unlock throughout the event period. I'm sure this won't be too hard for travelers that are familiar with cooking their own dishes. Oh yeah, I always cook. I cook all the time. Yeah. Yeah.、Sure. I know what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers can add their completed seasonings to delicious dishes to obtain fragrant dishes. We can also invite characters to taste test the fragrant dishes in the Serenity Pot to increase their companionship experience. After they taste、oh, a dish,、okay. we can hear their responses, which will vary based on the character's personal preferences. This will test Ew, how well travelers understand each character's <laughs> personal taste. Oh no, that's gonna hurt my feelings. Because <laughs> even if it's a fragrant dish. That doesn't mean that every character is going to like it. Ugh, too much salt. <laughs> <laughs> For our next event, we will be heading back to the lands of Sumeru. For those of you who remember the Beast Tamers tournament, this next event is related to that. However,、nice! the format will be pretty different from what you might expect, because the Wisdom Orb is still in its stages of theoretical research. It might be a while before our next competition. Okay, but have you considered、uh... that I want it now? I know, but don't worry. To keep、yeah. the discussion alive and the competition fresh in everyone's minds, the organizers have put together a new event to spread the word. They purchased the rights to Theater Mechanicus in Sumeru、oh, and incorporated some fungi fungus elements to design a completely new game、Makes、called Fungus、now. Mechanicus. Hmm. Seems they're putting、How's、a lot of effort、work? into promoting the competition. That's right. So, what will the rules be like for this event? I'm gonna、yeah. tell ya. In Fungus Mechanicus. We will be controlling pieces that look like fungi, <laughs> aptly named little fungi. Our enemies will be mechanicai, which I'm sure many of you have seen before. The little fungi will automatically attack the nearest mechanicai, 
and travelers will be able to select the little fungi and control their movement or order them to attack a specific target. During the challenge, we'll need to command our fungi and defeat all the mechanic guy to clear the stage and receive rewards. Hey, wait, did you say we're gonna go up against the mechanic guy that we were controlling in the previous Theater Mechanicus event? What's oh. wrong, Koi, huh? What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? They were our friends. Look, <laughs> they're attacking your little fungi now. Oh god, they're right. they need to die. It's okay. <laughs> By using Marvelous Jelly, we can let our little fungi unleash their skills. Using these skills at the right moment is the key to achieving victory. Marvelous Jelly will be gradually restored over time, and Plauditory Protection will randomly appear during the challenge, granting an additional amount of jelly. Looks like we'll need some strategy. Like, you have to plan out every move. Of your betrayal? <laughs> <laughs> some familiar friends from the Beast Tamers tournament will be making an appearance, too. Bongo Head! Oh, do you guys remember uh, Bongo Head and Twirly Whirly? Yeah. Travelers can feed their fungi marvelous jelly to interact with them, too. Ooh. Oh, look at that! In addition to these events in Mondstadt and Sumeru, the upcoming version will also include the Vibro Crystal Verification Challenge event. An engineer from Fontaine has arrived at the outskirts of the chasm to study the harmonic motion between gems known as vibrocrystals and collect data in an effort to clear the name of his colleague. Interesting. Oh, so okay. So he's helping out a colleague. What happened? Well, apparently, uh, after completing his vibrocrystal research, Patrice returned to his home nation but came under suspicion for faking his research data. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, so now he's found someone to come to the chasm in his place and verify his findings. Ooh. Sounds like it isn't easy being an engineer in Fontaine. That's why I stick Jeez. to beating up bad guys. Nice. <laughs> yeah, from the sound of it, we're still gonna have to fight here, too. In this event, travelers can connect transmitter and receiver crystals and attempt to produce various effects that will allow you to defeat your foes with ease. Score oh, points okay. during the challenge, and okay. you will be awarded yeah. medals based on the score, and receive the corresponding rewards. Whoa, okay. So there's a lot going on here with the crystals <laughs> and effects. Can you give us more details? Sure thing. I know it might sound a little complicated at oh, first, but okay. honestly it's these? not too tough once you get the hang of it. The various effects are basically buff effects that we can receive during the challenge, and these effects are triggered by combining transmitter and receiver crystals. Transmitter crystals are the conditions for triggering the buff effect, Whoa. and receiver crystals are the buff effect that occurs once those conditions are met. Oh, okay, I think I got it. Yep, yep, yep. And to conduct the experiments, travelers will need to assemble two teams of characters, as well as the corresponding vibrocrystal harmonic schema. Travelers will then carry out two rounds of combat, and for our newer players out there, there's no need to worry. The event will also provide trial characters to assist nice. everyone yeah. in completing the challenge. Oh, Ooh. nice. It looks like this event will also be awarding different tiers of medals. In that case, I'll aim for... The highest tier? The garbage can? Bro. No. <laughs> no. Just <laughs> aiming for participation rewards. Yeah. <laughs> I like my suggestion. Anyway, Amber, what else is there? In addition to the events we've already mentioned, Another version 3.5 will also be featuring the classic Leyline Overflow event, which will give travelers the chance to stock up on character experience books and Mora. I'm sure many of our viewers are pretty familiar with this event. It's super helpful for those who are looking to level up your characters. So, you sure not to miss yeah. it? All right, switching gears. I'll probably get In that version 3.5, a limited Do time heated battle mode will be available in Genius Invocation TCG. I haven't played this in a while. Which will feature some special rules. Nice. So what are we looking at here? Basically, this mode will be all about reducing the cost of elemental dice. So the number of elemental dice required to play the first card from your hand every round will be reduced by two. Also, the Ooh, number okay. of elemental dice required to use the first character skill each round will be reduced by one. Okay. Yeah, from the Interesting. sound of it, the pace of the game will be much faster. Yeah, I like it. I hope all our Genius Invocation fans will enjoy it. Last but not least, we have a system-related update. Uh, I think you'll like this one. After the version 3.5 update, the game will be adding additional rewards for completing Archon quests. Oh! Upon completing each Archon quest, travelers will receive one intertwined fate, 
along with a variety of other rewards. Oh, uh, we're going to everyone's complete. Everybody's travelers can view the tour guide feature in the adventure to Samaria's book. Heaps then, right? Claim the corresponding rewards. Yay! If more just intertwined fate. And just right. don't forget to claim it after the version update. I, I kind of do that sometimes. And with that, let's get to today's Extra last redemption dear. code. Redemption code. Sounds good. Extra fate, dude. That's cool. I like that. Oh, I love this artwork. It's so nice. It's got 50,000 more. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, this. Oh, this is. Oh, this is going to be a good update. Da, 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 da. Oh, I just can't wait for to do the Arkham quest. But yeah, that does look like. Uh, is it Yinga? I think that's her name. That looks like Yinga, like there. Which is going to make things very interesting. Got to be honest. Very, very interesting. But. I can't wait for Colleen Amber to reunite. It's going to be one of the. Sorry, Bourbon. One of the best parts of the um, whole thing. Oh, the whole wind blew. And, um, oh, uh, Dane's even Kaya? I was like, whoa, what the hell? That's going to be very interesting because they're both from Kanria. So I'm like, what's going to happen there? You know? So I can't yeah. believe how fast that went. Like, we're already Gee. at the end of today's program. Well, that was quick. I know. This whole quick. thing just flew right by. Yeah, it really did. So, Amber, how did you enjoy being on the special program? I absolutely loved it. Like I'm so hyped it would be for this cool. new version. It would be cool. I'm hyped for Dia, yeah. and Mika, and, yeah. and a little biased, <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty hyped for Dia. Her, she looks super strong, and she just looks like she kicks butt, you know? Yeah. I'm excited for all the new storylines, and oh my yeah, God, I, I think wait. it was a good Dude, my idea boys high to bring me on. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. <laughs> I am simultaneously Please, I'm really funny. impressed and kind of livid. <laughs> oh, no. How dare you. That was terrible, but I made it so good. Time. Oh, I'm no. really excited for the little fun guy. <laughs> I what? Yeah. I am. We all love the fun guy, too. Yeah. Like fun yeah. guy. And also, there's a lot of cool new stories. What if you're going to fight Layla during like, it? Probably, right? Hang out. And uh, Dia's story quest. I oh, can't wait and for that. And also the whole Danes live Conria thing. Oh that's that's God. gonna expand the world of Tevat. Oh, that's I'm right. I'm pretty excited for, I can't uh, for wait. all that stuff. I don't oh, know how much bloom. I can say. I can't wait. Oh yeah, no, I'm super excited for all the Wind Bloom events. Um, and Dia and Mika, of course. Uh, I know the rhythm game is coming back, so that'll be super fun. Even though I am horrible yeah. at it. Oh, yes, okay. uh, me too. It. Okay, good. Yeah, no, I need some. I need some help. But Can't I love me. rhythm games. I'm just not great at them. But yeah, no, it was awesome to have you both here on the special program, and I hope everyone will enjoy all the new content coming our way in version 3.5. See you all in game. Bye, Bye guys. Oh, that Bye. was so nice. Okay, that's kind of quick. Oh, I can't wait for this update. This update is going to be amazing. And anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tomorrow, I should be doing a story quest. I should be, so make sure to tune in for that. And I should be playing Honkai for the first time, but that's a 50-50 chance. <laughs> but yeah, this, this, this was so good. I can't wait for Dane's story quest. But yeah, bye. Well, I said story quest. Wait, no, I meant Archon quest. <laughs>